Hi, this is Debbie Murphy, PGA professional at the Indoor Links at Webster Golf Club, Monroe County's premier indoor golf facility. Indoor Links features six brand new state-of-the-art TrackMan simulator bays. Our focus at Webster Golf Club is to help you practice better and play better. And there's no better place than our Indoor Links to do both. Here you, your family, and friends can dial in your golf game using the same TrackMan technology the pros use. Plus, you can play the best courses in the world while enjoying our food and beverage services. Whether you're interested in practicing better, playing better, or both, we hope to see you at the Indoor Links. I'm here today with Ryan Mikowski. Ryan is one of our junior golfers and uh, local high school players heading off to college in the fall to play college golf. Uh, we've been working together for three years. Yeah, three years. Uh, I think we've developed about at least six to seven inches of height since we started <laughs> working together. And how many yards? Oh, 50 maybe. <laughs> So we caught each other at the perfect time when he was ready to sprout up and get serious about his golf. And uh, he's done a great job in, in improving be to become a tournament and high level player. Today we're gonna discuss partial swings. And as I always say, the partial swing distances, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100 yards, becomes more important the longer you hit it. You're gonna be getting more of those distances um, as, as you play in a round of golf. So they can make or break you, right? If, you're, if you have trouble with the 50, 60, 70 yard distance, it takes the fun out of hitting it far. So uh, Ryan and I have spent a lot of time working on this. And one of the ways we work on it is with the track man and a, a setting called the combine or the testing center. We have a partial swing uh, set up, uh, or sorry, we have a partial swing uh, combine that's set up uh, for fit to cover those distances, 50 to 100 yards. We have a plan for each distance. Uh, Ryan right now, his best distance is from 50 yards, and we're working on a better plan with 80 yards. Yeah. But let's go ahead and um, we'll, we'll start the, the combine. We'll, we'll uh, give you a little sneak peek at that. As a reminder, uh, we're going to start out with 50 yard shots. You're going to hit five shots, and each one will have a score uh, depending on how close to the hole you, you have it. Um, left, right, or front, you know, too, too short, too long. Uh, 50 yards, and it's carry. Okay. Right? That gives us um, the distance here. It gives you your score. Great first shot, 91. Followed it right up with nice carry distance again, 48 yards. Another good score. Scores are out of 100. can see why this is your strong distance, 50 yards. Good. Pressure's on, last uh, shot out of five. Awesome. A little long? Oh, a little, little long. Okay, that's all right. So what's your plan for 50 yards? Um, usually I take it about like a half swing and um, make sure I get good contact and nice speed through the ball. Um, it's usually like half, half back swing, half follow through. Okay, all right. Um, and we put a little pressure on you at the end there, but that sounds yeah. like a good plan for your 50 yards. Yeah. So let's skip forward to 80 yards, which is in the past has kind of been your trouble spot. So, yeah. so what, what's your plan at 80? Um, I think I'm going to switch to a 56. And then use probably a three, maybe half, three-quarter swing. Okay. So half back swing and three-quarter follow through. Okay. Um, usually that gets me pretty good. Okay. So All right. So you switch uh, wedges and I'll switch distances for okay. us.
So we're set up here for your 80 yard shot, uh, five, five shots. And what's your plan at 80? Um, I'm gonna take my 56 wedge, degree wedge and I think I'm just gonna take a half swing um, back and then a three quarter follow through. Make sure I get good contact and speed. Perfect. Add a little more in the back swing. Yeah. Touch, touch more than half. Great shot. Remember, there's different ways we can we can do this, right? It's, it's you know maybe do like a three quarter swing both ways, but grip down an inch. Yeah. Right. So there's all different variables that we can come up with for your perfect partial swing distance. go that's getting closer so what what did you do there um, I switched instead of doing the half back swing I switched to three quarter uh, it was a little smoother okay and, uh, I think that's just more accurate I just three quarter instead of trying to rush a half swing perfect I like that sounds more repeatable yeah. right mm -hmm. good What's cool about this is that'll give you a score from each distance. Um, so from for 80 yards, we, get, we uh, it'll give you it gave you the 72 out of 100. Okay. I bet you anything you can beat that. Yeah. All right. Want to try another one? Sure. Another round? Yeah. All right. So round two. All right. New plan. Yep. Right. Forward, All right. Forward. We're going to beat 72 right. out of 100. Beautiful. That, that, yeah, that was perfect carry. Obviously just a little left, but great carry. So you're, you're, that's the thing we're zoning in on right now. Okay. Beautiful. How about that? Good. Nice job. That was a pretty quick turnaround, right? Little yeah. change of plan, yeah. right? Stayed with the same club, mm -hmm. right? But it's but the technology is fantastic to be able to change that quickly and know exactly what your carry distance is for each shot. Yep. All right. Yeah. Great job. Thank you.